So as the government tackles the growing migrant crisis in Calais, politicians calling for Britain to vote to leave the European Union say now is the time to start their campaigning. Well, in a speech later today, the UKIP leader, Nigel Farage, will say that there's no time to waste in making a positive case for leaving. Well, we can join Mr Farage now, who is in our Westminster studio. Thank you very much for joining us on Breakfast. Good morning. Um, let's begin. Um, we do want to talk about Calais and the situation there with you, but let's begin with what's happening with the EU referendum campaign. What should we expect to hear from you? And are you going to put yourself forward as the leader of the No campaign? Well, the point is that, you know, nobody thought the Conservatives would get a majority. Nobody thought this referendum would happen, but it has. Um, and the Yes campaign are in full flight. Um, and every single day we get a university chancellor, we get Tony Blair, we get Richard Branson, uh, we get Ken Clark. Somebody every single day um, appears on your programmes, on your headlines, saying Britain must stay. And the Eurosceptic camp, uh, mostly Conservative Eurosceptics and one or two Labour, um, are pursuing a policy of wait and see. And what that means is the Prime Minister is able to set his own agenda for the renegotiation. And what I'm going to say today is that a big opinion poll being published today shows that far from migrant benefits, which is what Mr Cameron is campaigning about being the issue, what people really want to see in this renegotiation is can we get back control of our borders, can our Parliament, in some circumstances, be supreme? And why is EU membership costing us so much money? So what I'm saying is this. Uh, UKIP will, from the first week of September, launch our biggest ever outreach campaign. We're going to have hundreds of public meetings up and down this country, and we will challenge the Prime Minister on his renegotiation stance. When it comes to protecting our borders, surely it would make more sense to be part of the EU, to work together with other EU countries to protect our borders rather than take this on, on our, by ourselves? Well, just look at what's happening in Calais. Uh, we have this growing uh, crisis in Calais, not just of numbers, but also in terms of security. All the French have to do is issue French passports under asylum rules to every single one of those people waiting at Calais, and then legally they can all come to Britain. And that's the point. You know, the British passport is now a European Union passport, and 27 other governments uh, can choose to make people citizens of their country, and then they can all, if they wish, come to Britain. It's about being in control. And we made the argument previously, we're not against immigration, but we'd like to have an Australian-style point system so that we can choose who comes to Britain from all over the world, not have an open door to the rest of Europe. So the answer is no. We're far better off making our own decisions. Is there not a question of compassion here? We're also hearing of thousands of people escaping war-torn, bitterly feuding countries with awful records of violence. We're hearing of children desperately looking for somewhere to stay. Is there not an issue of compassion that we should have for people who are seeking asylum and who well, want to come to this country and contribute to the economy of this country? Well, historically, the answer to that, of course, is yes. Uh, you know, and we are the country above all in Europe who, who have given uh, genuine refugees the opportunity to get on in Britain. The problem is the numbers that are landing now in Greece and Italy are so huge and we have no means of screening or checking or testing who these people are. And, and, and the real worry is that when Islamic State say they will use what is happening in the Mediterranean to flood Europe with their own jihadist fighters, that is a threat we need to take very seriously indeed. And well, we do have a system of checking, don't we? There no, is none. One in place. Absolutely none. Absolutely none. For the hundreds of thousands that are arriving, whether it's Lampedusa or the Greek islands, there is absolutely no means of checking who those people are. And that is the real worry. Now, Australia faced a very similar crisis a few years ago with boatloads coming to Australia, ships capsizing, people drowning, all the same things. And the Australians said, you will not make Australia your home, and they stopped the people coming. You know, this is an EU problem. Uh, but I'm afraid it's impacting on Britain as well. OK, Nigel Farage, um, leader of UKIP, thank you very much for joining us on BBC Breakfast.